America, you're lost. You've lost the core values that this country was founded on. From your faith, to the competition and teamwork, pursuit of success. We've even lost, you know, the common ground that we all could at least at one time agree upon and say, we agree to disagree. Now it's either you agree with me or you're my enemy. What happened to us, America? Can we find those core values once again? When did we lose them? Five years ago? Ten years ago? Twenty years? Or was it even longer? Where did it start? Where did it start? Was it reality TV? Was it the Patriot Act? It's too bad that we've, we've lost so much in faith in each other, the people that represent us, and even speaking of the people that represent us, we can't even trust them anymore. Look what's happened recently, which very few news outlets are covering, is with the social media platforms. We're seeing that those that have sworn to protect us have actually been out there usurping our natural rights. Not only are we slowly losing our rights and willingly letting them go, We've even let go of our morals. Why? Is it because of this is what society has become? The way we're bringing up our children? We all should be ashamed of what this country has turned into. Your daughters are on OnlyFans. Yes. Your sons in, are selling drugs. But yet, they're going to church on Sunday with the family. And on the weekends, Fridays and Saturdays, they're going out getting blackout drunk. Probably taking drugs also. Whatever. But then they go in on Sundays looking for that forgiveness to try and clear that guilty conscience. Is that moral? My opinion, no. Now, I'm not here to judge people on their actions and what they do with their free time. It's their choice. That is their right. But when you look at the overall society here in the United States, we're lost. The, the Gen Zers, the Alphas, there is no direction for them. They're spending their time on these platforms watching 30 second videos acting like freaking cartoon characters or abusing themselves to get clicks and likes. 
But okay, yeah, we did stupid things when we were young too. Really? This is what's come of us. As long as we're distracted, we don't pay attention to what those in power are doing. And that's all they want. To keep you distracted. Don't pay attention here. We're going to do this over here so you don't see what we're doing over here. Simple. So how do we get these values back? You know, it's um, funny. Our last president, which so many of you just do not like, which I can understand. His slogan was a, honestly, it was a ripoff. It was a ripoff of Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan was the one who coined Make America Great Again. And what that meant was not what everyone on the left thinks it means. You go back to a time in the 50s where there was Jim Crow laws or, you know, and segregation, you know, where everything was, you know, Ozzie and Harriet or leave it to Beaver. That's not what he meant. What he meant was to go back to our core Judeo-Christian values, what founded this country. Right now, our founding fathers are rolling over in their graves. They truly are. If they could see what we've done to this place, I wouldn't be surprised if they would even, you know, they would encourage us to revolt again. Now, I'm not trying to tell people to go out there and, you know, do harm to anybody, revolt. Your biggest power is your vote. You go out there and you vote these people out of there. So that's what I'm telling you to do. Use your power in that fashion. But yes, we, we've, we've lost everything. We've, we've lost the moral high ground. We used to be the shining city on the mountain. No longer. Our government spies on us daily. Consistently bypassing the Constitution. It's a shame. We've allowed it to happen. Because we've all been complacent. In our own little worlds. And the only way out of it is to find our values again. And those values, core American values, that we need to find. We need to find them through our personal achievements and successes. Yes, our own material comforts. Keeping ourselves busy. Individualism. Not selfishness, individualism. Keeping things practical and efficient. And from our gains in materialism, practice humanitarianism. Help those that need help. In progress. Not progressivism. Not for the sake of of progress must form naturally through our achievements, not forced. Because as our society gets better and grows, naturally, progress will occur. Equality cannot be confused with equity. Equity doesn't work. Equity creates 
best way to put put it is it creates biases. If this particular group gets it just for the simple fact that they're a group, what about the other groups? How are you going to get it to the other groups? Make sure it's equal. Can't. It's impossible. Truly, truly impossible. About equality, not equity. And of course, we do it all with our freedoms, our will. That is what we need to do with our American values. We need to find them again. And that's where the American values have to start. If we can exercise those few things, the rest comes from in here. Our charity, our faith, our faith in what, whatever you believe in. Even if you don't believe in a higher power, if you're a moral person, that's more than enough. So how do we start doing these things? I know it's not easy. But the only way to do it is we have to look inside ourselves. And ask ourselves, are we doing the right thing? Are we being a moral person? Doing what is right. Even when it's hard. Doing what's right. You know, I can see how a lot of people might look at this, well, I don't want to do that because, you know, I might be looked at, it's like a square or, you know, something's like a weirdo by doing something like that. How is that being weird? How is being a square or weird attributed to being a good person? That's all you have to do. We all know what right and wrong is. But we let that 30 seconds of joy that comes in from strangers get in our way. Not just the strangers, even our friends. Ah, oh, we're going to go out, we're going to go party, out, you know, wherever. Get some beers and drink and have a good time. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I can't not admit, I've had my fair share of beer. Oh, yes. But to say no to it, it's not making you a weirdo. It's not making you a square. Not saying, saying no to it's just making you a good person for saying no. But it just... Saying no to some things leads you down a different path. And that's, and that's what I think is wrong and where we lost a lot of our morals is we stop saying no to things. And we... Let go of what we know is wrong and right. Because there's a point in your life, regardless of who you are, regardless of your upbringing, you know right and wrong. And at a certain point, you can't blame your parents. You can't blame your environment. You have to blame yourself. And that's what it comes down to. It's accountability. The number one American value. Accountability. Taking responsibility for your own actions. And that's where it starts. But. That's just me.
So, I just hope you can understand. And I hope that you can maybe reflect on a few things. What can I do? Help a neighbor who physically can't do the work around their home anymore? I'm not saying do their you know yard work for them, but like when you're out there in the middle of winter and there's a you know, a few inches of snow out there. You're out there with your snowblower. Don't just do yours. Come on. Do your neighbors. Do both sides. You're already out there. What's it going to hurt? No, unless you have, you know, like a massive driveway and so do your neighbors. I can understand. So it could be a little much. But from where I'm at in my neighborhood, you know, we're not, we're not rolling a bunch of dough. So yeah, there isn't much more that I can say. And all we can do is look inside ourselves. Are we raising our children right? Are we actually setting examples for those around us? And that's the other thing. Setting examples. The only way to make change is, like I said, start with yourself, but also set an example for not just, you know, for the people that, you know, you, you know, or are your friends, but even for strangers, be that example. Because that's where it starts. It doesn't start with someone else out there. It starts right here. It starts with you, me. That's where it starts. It's up to the individual to make those changes. And it starts in your yard. You can't take care of anyone else's yard. Take care of your own yard first. When you take care of your yard, it rubs off on people. They start saying, wow, that person over there, they're really taking care of theirs. Eventually, what's going to happen is they don't want to be left out. They're going to start working on theirs, start making improvements. Be an example. Be an example and exemplify our core American values. It's all we can do. It's all you can do. So, as for that, I think that's going to end tonight's segment. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Gave you something to think about. And we'll be back at it again soon. Next week. All right, I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.